Homeowner shoots and kills woman attempting to rob him in Dacula. 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 God damn it. I I messed all of these up. Um, According to Gwinnett County Police, the homeowner uh, invited 27-year-old Azani Ellis from Milwaukee over to his house earlier in the evening. At some point, police say that Ellis attempted to rob him and shot at him as he attempted to run out of the house. Ellis left the house but returned moments later and tried to get inside by smashing a window. Uh, The homeowner then shot Ellis. As she was coming through the front door, Ellis's body was found dead inside the car, and investigators determined that he, def- that he was defending himself and that he was not charged. In the wake of the Breonna Taylor case, I was wondering what your guys' take on what the laws are surrounding when it is okay to fire and kill someone. In other places, if someone's going to attack you, you have an obligation to leave. And, but almost generally across the board, if you're in your home and you're in reasonable apprehension for your life, you have the legal right to use reasonable force. And if they're bringing lethal force, you have the right to return the force. Anytime a, a weapon is involved, it's, it's deadly force. Um, it has to be proportional. It has to be reasonable. If somebody's breaking into your home and, and putting you in fear of your safety, yeah. you're, you're generally allowed to use deadly force to protect your stuff. I would say in this particular situation particularly though because he probably knew she had a weapon. And one thing you are not allowed to use deadly force generally speaking to defend property. It's only to defend life. Yeah. Gotcha. So if somebody's like about to key my car. You could stop them. You could push them away. You could push them away. You could could, yell at them or whatever is reasonable. If you have an air horn (laughs) you can blow it at them. Um, But you're not allowed to like stab them. The reason why I bring up the Breonna Taylor case right. um, But she was in her home. She was in her home. If it had been anyone other than the police. It had just been three random men who came into his home at night. He would have had the right to kill them all. So so that's my question though. I mean does Mm -hmm. it it matter that they're police? It does. It It does. does. Okay. Apparently it does. <laughs> it, well, it, yeah, it does. I mean, both, both in the situation and sovereign immunity and yeah. the police had good faith and, that they were in the right place and, and stuff like that. I think the issue that you, yeah. you run into is, you know, 90% of the time, right, you're, you're not looking at no-knock warrants where they just kick the door in and go, right? Mm-hmm. Those are somewhat rare, and they should be a lot rarer than they are. Particularly in that circumstance, it was just over drugs. You should no it's knock really be limited to they things do it, of actual they violent do it, danger. Yeah. So, so yeah. generally, again, a no knock, there has to be you know a risk of somebody getting hurt or of evidence being destroyed. That's how they do them in drug cases. You need to notify when you're doing a no knock warrant that you are police. And if somebody if somebody knocked your door down, what's to stop anybody kicking your door down from yelling police? And you're right. supposed to just assume that the person kicking your door down is police and just okay, yep, like no, yeah, no. guess I won't defend myself. Yeah, that's crazy. No. So. Wow, I yeah. never even thought about that. Yeah, that's really tough. Okay, so yeah, so very problematic. Which is why we should. It should be so rare. Yeah. So it should be like we think a serial killer a is hostage, hiding weapons a or the hostage situation. or yeah. Yeah. someone's life should be at it's, stake or the ability it needs to, to be prosecute a, true a danger. Let me <laughs> summarize my learnings here. If I am not on my property, I have to respond with appropriate force, even if I have a firearms license. Even if you're on your property, you have to respond with appropriate force. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So you always have to <laughs> respond with appropriate force, even if you have a firearms license and whatever in your license, ca- which you're probably yep. educated on when you get the firearms license. I'm sorry. You could be like, I'll oh, yell at trespassers as a legal aid. You're, you're okay, not educated say. on that except, when you get a yeah. firearms license. That sign, that sign is probably not as convincing. <laughs> not as convincing. Like, <laughs> trespassers will be yelled at aggressively. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's say there's a no-knock warrant. Break down my door. They don't announce that they're police because they have a no-knock warrant. I fire at the police. I miss, thank God. I search my place there's no drugs and they find that they have had the had the wrong house but i'm a guy who has a gun you're gonna get arrested i'm getting arrested because i shot at the police in that situation <laughs> you would be arrested he was initially arrested for, he was, they originally yeah. dropped the charge because it was so absurd but yeah. he could have been charged and probably successfully prosecuted for felony murder the police are executing a warrant at your house and you know they're police you can't shoot at them they're police yeah. they're doing but, the, but, yeah. to, you, can't, you have to then if you could do a no lot work at, during the day instead of the night i think it's still generally safer hmm. yeah <laughs> guys thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this make sure you leave a comment go ahead and like it and uh yeah let us know your thoughts guys if you could share this on your timeline or with people that you think would resonate with it that would be fantastic hey if you want a will estate plan or you want to do anything involving trust or uh involving legacy preservation go ahead and give us a call our number is 404-939-7562 or send us an email at info at modernestateplanning.com we would love to help you create an estate plan that protects your legacy and like preserves your assets and helps you out significantly. Uh, That's what we do. We are based in Atlanta, Georgia, and we would love to help you do that, especially with coronavirus going on. You never know. It's terrifying. Have a great day. Bye-bye.